Lego sets are the best thing ever. Lego designers get to build with Lego every day. This got me thinking, what would it be like to build Lego sets on a daily basis? So I will try to build a Lego set every day for the next 30 days. And if I lose this challenge, I will cut this minifigure worth $100 in half. So let's begin. To successfully beat this challenge, I'll need 30 Lego sets. Buying this much Lego will probably make me homeless. So to prevent this from happening, I saved a ton of sets specifically for this video. Why 30 days? Well, there are many YouTube videos about crazy 30 day challenges and I wanted to do this with Lego. It's day one and you know what that means, building time. So I grabbed a Lego Star Wars set and quickly went to building. This is the first day of a crazy adventure. If you were wondering where I got this, you could get this from lego.com, but it's available on Bricklink too. The set certainly needs an upgrade, so let's add a Stormtrooper. This looks much better. Now let's sleep and continue tomorrow. Whenever you don't have a lot of time to build Lego, you just have to build a smaller set. Today was one of those days, so I built this Lego Minecraft polybag with a turtle. This makes me think of Kung Fu Panda. Fun fact, I got this from a random store in Dublin. Unfortunately, the Lego store wasn't open yet. On day three, I wanted to build something different, and mainly from one of my favorite LEGO themes ever, Star Wars. So I grabbed this Mandalorian Starfighter and built it in a couple of seconds. Only I have the Godspeed building powers. On the fourth day, I decided to build Umbridge's Encounter set from Harry Potter, with which you can also imitate a scene from the movie. Obviously, building LEGO is an activity which you perform while sitting down. I'm a gym dude, and I don't want to mess up my training schedule, so the next morning I woke up before 5am to go to the gym and work out. But I also had to build a Lego set, so why not do both simultaneously? I quickly started to build the set, and despite only one person other than I being in the gym, it was pretty awkward, but Lego is cool, so we have to do this. All right, guys, so I finished building Zane's Power Up Mac Eva. Now I'm gonna hit my gym session because it's getting a little busier in the gym. We're just gonna go and call it a day. If you think building Lego in the gym was crazy, this will blow your mind. So I'm one of those people who still goes to school, so why not combine studying with building Lego. So to do this, I went to the library and decided to build a smaller set. After searching for ages, I found a corner where no one could see me and opened the set. But while building, some people sat down at the table next to me, which made this really awkward. I finished building the set and went straight for the exit, and that's day six. For day seven, I built this mushroom house from Lego Minecraft. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is already one week of building a Lego set every day. So with three weeks left, I'm pretty confident I will succeed in this challenge. On the first day of week two, I wanted to build a cool Lego Star Wars set, but I had to study for a test. So I built this smaller poly bag of Shang-Chi from Marvel. The build for the dragon is pretty cool, but Smaug will always be my favorite. The next day, I grabbed Obi-Wan Kenobi Starfighter and built it. It's a pretty cool build, but I turn it into a cursed version of the set with the Kamino and stealing the Starfighter, and a reference to our force missing head in Revenge of the Sith. Speaking of Obi-Wan, I built the Inquisitor's transport site, even though I haven't watched the series at all. Next up, I wanted to visit a couple of different LEGO themes, so I built the Hospital Wing from LEGO Harry Potter, the Avengers Endgame Battle, the Tournament of Elements from LEGO Ninjago, the Dark Trooper attack from The Mandalorian, and finally, on day 15, I built this cool motorcycle pursuit from Lego Batman. With this, I can also do some cool stunts in my Lego room. Oh, and by the way, we're halfway done with the challenge, and I built a massive amount of sets already. I can't wait to see how big my collection will be after this video. We've got 15 days left, and if nothing goes wrong, we can easily do this. If nothing ends up going wrong. So I continued building the next day by grabbing this cool Lego Harry Potter set, but on day 17, the the worst thing ever happened. I almost completely forgot this challenge, so I still have to build a set. I quickly grabbed the smallest set I could possibly find, opened it, and went to building. All right, boys, we made it. Hopefully this never happens again, and to make sure it doesn't, I motivated myself to continue by going to the Lego store to buy some extra Lego sets. I got all of these wonderful sets to build, and on day 18, I immediately built this Lego Minecraft set with this cool function. On day 19, the Wolverine mech because I wanted the minifigure, but the build is trash. The next thing I decided to build is this cool Titan mech from Lego Ninjago. It's a solid build with creepy minifigures. Speaking of creepy, do you remember the chili scene in Harry Potter where they had to sneak past Fluffy? Well, I also built this set, and to join the hype of the Bat Batch, I finally built this shuttle after keeping it sealed for over a year. I wanted to close off week 3 with a bigger set, so I grabbed a Ministry of Magic set and built it, and I also tried to recreate the Eiffel Tower. Oh! 
You might not believe it, but there's only one week left, guys, so let's make it memorable. For day 24, I wanted to build a classic set from LEGO Ninjago, the Fire Temple, but I couldn't order it in time, so we're gonna have to build something different. I got this Fire Dragon set back in the summer of 2021 and haven't opened it since, so let's build this. It's an upgrade since the one from 2011 for sure, but I will never let go of that LEGO Ninjago nostalgia. Those good old days. On day 25, I wanted to build a small set. So I picked this Minecraft set of a red creeper ambushing Steve, which is a little sus. It took so long to build this set. Just kidding, I built it in two seconds with my Godspeed building powers. Most of you might know that I happen to be one of the biggest clone army builders in the world. I got a massive army, but I don't have a Republic fighter tank, so I want one. Because the older one is quite expensive, I had to get the 2022 version from the Lego store. The set has some clone troopers, so let's throw them on this pile boys on day 27 i already missed building lego ninjago sets so i decided it'd be a good idea to wake up at 5 a.m the next day to build a lego set so i built the boulder blaster from lego ninjago and apparently didn't add these stickers while building but this happens all the time when i build new lego sets because i hate stickers so now we've arrived at day 28 of building a lego set every day which means we only have three days left till the end of this dope challenge to make this as epic as possible we're gonna need to build three cool and huge sets so let's get to building or should i say lego on day 28 i grabbed this large chamber of secrets set from harry potter this is going to leave a dent in my bank account boys nonetheless i opened it and got to building there's this cool piece for the basilisk an abundant selection of minifigures and some nice bricks to decorate the castle on day 29 i wanted to jump back into time and specifically travel all the way back to 2011 this was a great year for lego star wars lego ninjago got released but one other theme also pirates of the caribbean if you don't know these movies i will release the kraken to attack you so for this i grabbed my black pearl set and disassembled it uh my mom actually did that then i got to build this set and relive my childhood all over again the build for the set is so nostalgic and just take a look at all of the minifigures davy jones even is worth 100 dollars. it's insane oh and all of you are probably wondering why is the rum gone so tomorrow is the day my life is gonna change and I can't wait to see what happens. Let's get to bed. Day 30 has arrived and today I will build my favorite Lego set of all time, the Tower of Orthanc from the Lord of the Rings. You all got to know me through videos about this theme and therefore I just had to build the biggest Lego the Lord of the Rings set possible. So again, first of all we had to disassemble it and then I could finally build the set. Even though my blood was pumping due to stress, I got to build the Tower of Orthanc. And yes, we did it everyone. I built a Lego set every day for 30 days that's insane the main thing i've learned from this challenge is that building this often can be soothing and certainly will improve your building skills and knowledge about lego techniques this was quite the expensive challenge but the fact that i saved all of these sets over a span of over two years really helped out so the most important thing while building lego is that you enjoy it and i've had the chance to do that these past 30 days so i hope all of you at home are inspired to try this out for yourself in the meantime i'm gonna recover from the enormous in my bank accounts or not.